Yeah. Um, good evening, Mr. Swadin Rai. Uh, can you please tell us about yourself? Yes. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, good first morning. of all, thank you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. I am from a small village, namely Horinna, Murshidabad district. I have done my B.Tech in Electronics and Communication Engineering. I had total six years of experience in four different financial institutions. I started my career with Siram Transport Finance Company Limited as a management trainee, where my key responsibilities are acquisition of vehicle loan customers, portfolio management, cross-selling of different life cycle product like tire loan, fuel loan, FD, RD, LI, GI, etc. Also recovery and collection function of assigned portfolio. Then I moved to a specialized collection role. I worked in uh, TMFL, Tata Motor Finance Limited and HDB Financial Services Limited. Both these experiences are higher bucket collection management. And lastly, I worked in an agritech startup namely Gramophone. Actually, Gramophone is a full stack technology platform which helps farmer for increasing their income. Gramophone generally has two types of business like input business and output business. In input business, they generally sold the hybrid seeds, pesticide to the farmers. And in output business, after producing corn, they help farmers to sell it to the market. Good. So tell us about your family. Sir, I have four family members in my family. My father, my grandmother, and my younger brother. My father is a... Earlier, he involved in agriculture. Nowadays, he is resting. My grandmother is a family pension holder. And my father and my younger brother is studying. What about mother? My mother is expired, sir. When did she die? In uh, 2021. Oh, God. Due to COVID? No, no, sir. Oh. Actually, uh, she had uh, CKD, chronic kidney disease. Oh, then how did you come out of the crisis? I think you would have been, you are, you are the first child, no? Yes, sir. Sorry. No. Sir, actually, life life goes on, sir. There yeah. are a lot of travel are there, but uh, I already overcome that. Sorry. Now, coming to Good. this IBPS, now you are working in... in no, this... sir. I currently... Actually, right. prior, prior to 20 days of the re uh, written exam, I put my resignation so that I can uh, I can give an extra edge to my preparation. That's why mm -hmm. I put resignation. And currently, I am completed my last working date. Now, I am preparing for interview itself. Good. And I think you appeared for IDBI interview or some other interviews earlier. No? Yes, me? sir. Earlier... Earlier, I, I already uh, given uh, several mocks to you like Bank of Baroda and uh, I was also in IDBI wait list. Oh, still it is not cleared. Waiting list not cleared, no? No, 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 sir. I'll actually, uh, for selected candidate, they issued three dates. Like last, mm -hmm. last joining uh, lot will be 15th of December. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, they will take the uh, suitable candidate from wait list one minute some call is coming hello tell me roy roy tell me yeah yes sir uh, 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 yeah. um sudipta roy you please hold on i am just in another call okay yeah tell me uh, tell me, tell me quickly because I am in the midst of an uh, uh, interview. Tell me. Yeah. Um, okay. I will call you after the session. Okay. Thank you. Sudipta Roy. Yeah. Uh, another Roy is coming online. <laughs> That's right. Um, 
So you are now a person who has, you have taken the certificates and all from the company. Pranoy Roy. Sorry, Swadin Roy. Have you, yes, take, have you taken the certificates from the company? Very good. Yeah. Relieving letter? Yeah, relieving letter and all. Cert yes, sir. I... Ex experience certificate, normally they will ask. Yes, sir. I, I, I already uh, got that. Uh, got this. Very good. Excellent. So now you want to join IBPS RRB as a scale two officer, correct? Correct, sir. Then uh, what do you what are the functions of RRBs? Sir, RRB mainly focused into rural uh, rural areas and uh, Generally, they deal with rural agriculture product like KCC. And uh, if I talk about RRB history, uh, in 1975, by the recommendation of M. Narsivan Committee, RRB established. RRB Act passed on 1976 due to emergency at that time. Presently, 43 RRBs are in India. Out of uh, these 43, 37 are in profit and 6 are in losses. The RRB in your state, is it in profit or loss? Sir, in my state, there are three RRBs. Out of three, two are in profit, one are in loss. Achha, what, are, what, in... What, are the, what are the names of those RRBs? So you are in Bihar, correct? No, no, I am from West Bengal. West Bengal. Bolun? Sir, uh, there are three, RR... as I already told you, there are three RRBs in my state, like Bongio Gramin Bikas Bank, and Uttar Bongo, Khetriyo Bank. These two banks are in profit. And mm. Poschim Bongo, uh, Poschim Bongo uh, Gramin Bank, which is uh, which is in loss. Sponsored by which bank? That one's again, last one? Uko, Uko Bank, sir. Oh, achha, thik hai. no problem. So now, uh, what do you understand by financial inclusion? Sir, financial inclusion means... Uh, we have to uh, uh, providing financial financial activities to the unbanked person. Like in rural area, there are several uh, several persons still now are there uh, which don't have any access of basic banking service. So yeah. this uh, uh, these people are are in banking service. We have to put we have to put them in banking service. We have to provide them basics, uh, basic of banking service like basic accounts, savings accounts, uh, deposits. This are this all are, and uh, this all are included comes in the financial inclusion. What are the schemes adopted for inclusion of financial inclusion? There are several schemes are there. Like uh, firstly, Pradhan Mantri Jandhan account. This is uh, one of the uh, greatest scheme. Presently, 50,000 uh, 50, crore bank accounts are opened till now. There are... Uh, no, no, 50,000 crore, nahi, 50 crore. 50 crore, sorry, sir. Yeah. 50 crore. Mm. Secondly, uh, there are several pension schemes are there like APY, auto pension, Jojona. Mm. Uh, and uh, uh, there are uh, there are also uh, some uh, insurance schemes like Pradhan Mantri Jivan Jyoti Jojana. Mm. This is a um, uh, this is a um, accident. Uh, this insurance have two kinds of benefits. Like for accidental benefit, uh, they they can get two lakhs. And for uh, for accidental uh, uh, matter, money, accidental maternal benefit. Uh, uh, motor motorial benefit uh, if uh, if 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 a person die in an accident then uh, he will got 2 lakh if uh, he is partially disabled then he will got 1 lakh what is and, the premium uh, in this what is the premium in this earlier uh, only 12 12 rupees sir now it is 20 yes sir now, now it, is it, it is revised to 20 now, under the Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana, what is the premium? Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Yojana, uh, 436, rupees 436. It is a, a life insurance schemes. Very good. What are the other schemes that are done for financial inclusion? 
I think Understood. you have to you have to go through a book I have given you, Olive Board um, RRB material. In that, you know, you will get all these details like say, uh, um, Atal Pension Yojana, then there is Vayu Vandana Yojana, then yes, Sukanya Samridhi Deposit Scheme. So many new products are there about which also you must go through. Okay, sir. Yeah, your preparation is not adequate. You have to prepare something more also. Please tell me about uh, RRB. What do you know about banking correspondence? Banking correspondence uh, is a uh, part of uh, bank branch. Actually, in uh, rural areas where uh, banking service is still, still yet not uh, fully disbursed, then uh, where we can we can reach banking service through banking correspondence like these are uh, typically uh, some uh, uh, where the basic banking services are available uh, um, and banking banking Very service banking sufficient, correspondence sufficient sufficient which is the largest bank in our country state bank of india no or oh, uh, hdfc sorry sir sorry sir hdfc why did you say about it state bank Actually, HDF. in terms of public sector bank, uh, the uh, largest bank is SBI. And in terms of private bank, uh, after a recent merger, uh, HDFC is the largest bank. So HDFC bank is in the news now. For what purpose? What is the news? HDFC Sir, bank is in the news nowadays, uh, especially yeah. stock market news. Why? Actually, HDFC Bank and HDFC, the Housing Development Finance Corporation, it is nowadays it is merged and uh, they put in a single entity. Mm. Yesterday, one boy attended a business development officer interview with me. He has worked in HDFC earlier and he has explained about it very nicely. He has told after the merger, the bank has to provide extra for the CRR, SLR for the deposits of the HDFC company also. So since they have to provide extra and also SLR, 18%, then provision has to be made more. That brought down the results of HDFC. That in turn brought down the price of HDFC bank by 4 to 5 percent. Do you understand? Whereas at the time of merger, people thought the price of HDFC bank shares will go up because mm -hmm. it is becoming a fourth largest bank in mm -hmm. the world. But this is what has happened. That is what he was telling. Please watch that video I have posted yesterday. Business Development Officer. Okay. He, that boy has told so nicely, much better than what I told you now. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. Now, please tell me what are the responsibilities of a scale 2 officer in RRB? Sir, scale 2 officer uh, generally. Uh, associated as a branch manager and uh, if we talk about roles and responsibility of a branch manager branch manager helps to uh, uh, had, had to uh, uh, manage the whole branch like we we have to take care of advance as well as cross selling of different product and uh, recovery of and collection and recovery function also managing the whole branch is the responsibility of scale to gb oh. officer mm -hmm. good um, now, please tell me any current affair news you are remembering. Yes, sir. recently uh, India uh, is building a road. It is Eastern Economical Corridor Road. And uh, it, actually, it is not only a road. Actually, it is a, a full-fledged as well as maritime uh, route and also road. India is building 
maritime connectivity through Indian Ocean and it will go to the uh, Gulf country like Saudi Arabia. After that, uh, the uh, the road connectivity goes on and it will, uh, from Saudi Arabia to, it will go to the Jordan. And again, from Jordan, it will go to France through, uh, through sea connectivity and through France, it will go to the uh, Germany. And uh, from Germany, every European country is connected by road. So we can uh, put lots of uh, business activity through this road, through this economic corridor. Mm -hmm. What are the other news you can remember? Can you tell me something about one nation, one election? No, sir. Can you tell me something about G20 meeting that was held in September? Yes, G20 itself, a uh, group of countries, like there are 19 countries and one European Union. European Union consists of 55 uh, uh, countries. Mm. African Union, sorry, sir. Mm. So, uh, G20, uh, recently G20 uh, meeting held in uh, Delhi. And for that, Pragoti Moidan is fully uh, developed, renovated. There are uh, several, there are one... Uh, convention center called Bharat Mandapam Build. Mm. Good. Now, please tell me, what do you know about a Reserve Bank of India? Sir, RBI, Reserve Bank of India, is a outmost regulatory body of all banks. Mm. RBI, uh, I, I, I am not sure, but RBI is, uh, uh, RBI is built by the recommendation of Hilton Young Commission. Mm. Oh, Purana history sab chodo. Abhi ka baat batao. Uh, presently, uh, Mr. Saktikant Das is a governor of RBI. Correct. And, mm. and there are four deputy governors are also there. Mm. Like Michael M. D. Patra, mm. M. Rajeshwar Rao, mm. and uh, T. Gobi Shankar. Mm. And lastly, Swami Nathan Janaki Raman. Ha, Swami Nathan Janaki Raman. Who is the present executive director of RBI, who has been appointed recently? M. Rajeshwar Rao. Or no, M. Rajeshwar Rao has been given extension. Okay. The executive director's name is P. Vasu Devan. You have to keep in touch with the Newspaper thoroughly. Okay. Jo jo kal hoga, usko aaj puchega. Jo parsu hone wala hai, usko aaj puchega. So, isiliye aapko bilkul pura 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 padne, padke man me rakhna padta hai. Okay. Understand? Very good. Now, of course, for you, more questions will be on your the job you have done recently, uska bare mein bataiye. What was your achievement in that job? Sir, my present, uh, my last job, yeah, last to last job. Last job. Previous job. Just now you resigned, you know. Yes. Uh, sir, presently, uh, uh, actually in Gramophone, it is an agritech startup as I told you. Uh, if for output segment, actually, I am taking care of the trade finance collection cases. So there are uh, there are uh, 26 number of cases in eastern region like Bhubaneswar, Guwahati, and Assam. Sorry, Bhubaneswar, Guwahati, and Kolkata. And out of these, uh, uh, when I was resigned, uh, like in uh, August month, in September, I have completed my last working date. But in August, I put resign. But uh, in the month of July, I have collected almost 5 lakh out of this 2 crore full size. Mm. And uh, uh, this is a very challenging uh, work I have done. Like who, has, are... who has started that startup? Actually, it is a, uh, actually it is built by 3 I am a South person. The founder name is Tosif Khan. There are two co-founders is also there, Harshit Gupta 
and Aman Bansal. Is, it, is the startup running profitably or loss? Yes, sir. presently it is uh, running profitably. What was the pay, pay packet they were giving you? CTC. Uh, sir, 6.5. Very good, very good. Now, please tell me, what is a startup? How many startups are there in India? What steps government is taking to revive the startups or encourage the startups? I think you will not be able to answer this question because you would not have prepared. Because you, for you, this type of questions will come because you are coming from a startup. So please yes, go to Google and search for India startups. Then I have posted two, three days back a video on startups and stand-up. There are two, three... There is a scheme. Yeah. There, is a scheme. there are two schemes brought by government. So startups scheme and stand-up India scheme. So you must go through about them also. Startup India scheme, stand-up India scheme. What is it about that you have to study? Aap achha padna hai. Padke man mein rakh lije. Baut kuch points bolna hai. I know you can't answer now. Because knowledge is a vast ocean. That is the problem. Achha ji. Please tell me what are your strengths. Sir, I will tell you... Uh... I think I am uh, managing things that uh, I am good at managing things. Like I earlier uh, worked in uh, higher packet collection management. So I'll put the collection management skills, negotiation skills in my uh, strength section. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Our be acha points, bata sakte hain. please think over this, prepare kar dijiye. Now, uh, next question is. What do you understand by NPA? Sorry, sir. UBI. N NPA. Yes, sir. NPA means non-performing asset. If uh, in simpler terms, we can say if in an account, the income is not generating since last 90 days, then it is uh, comes under NPA. If, uh, if it is in uh, cash credit or overdraft loan, then uh, the term is called uh, what it is called out of order if mm. if it is agricultural loan then for short term corp the NPA segregation will be called for two uh, two corp tenure and for long term corp two corp cycle one corp cycle is for uh, NPA good excellent and what are we, the what are the classification of yes, uh, assets NPA NPA generally classified into three parts like substandard asset, doubtful asset, and loss asset. Substandard asset means after the 91 DPD to 360 DPD is called substandard assets. More than 360 DPD is called doubtful assets. Doubtful assets further classified into three point D1, D2, and D3. Doubtful up to one year is called D1. Doubtful one to three years is called D2. And doubtful more than three years is called D3. And lastly, loss asset means uncollectable. In general, mm. loss assets, uh, the um, uh, creditor declared it is loss asset, like where we can't collect the outstanding money, then it is declared as loss, loss asset. Who is the chief minister of West Bengal? Uh, Miss uh, Mamta Banaji. Correct. Who is the finance minister? In West Bengal? Yeah. I can't remember, sir, actually. Who is the governor of West Bengal? It's a, um, it's a boss. Uh, I think uh, P. Boss or yeah, T. Boss, sir. Then with which country India is having strained relationship now? Uh, Canada, where yeah. you are staying, sir. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where it's G20, after G20 with Canada. And uh, uh, who is the Prime Minister of Canada? Justin Trudeau. Correct. What is the present position? In Canada? No, you know, in terms of this relationship. 
presently uh, uh, presently the uh, uh, the relation between uh, india and canada is very volatile like after the khalistani uh, terrorist killed in the uh, canada the uh, prime minister of canada itself they uh, they are uh, brutally um, blaming india for this but after certain uh, period they they also uh, make sorry about this yeah now they want to settle the uh, they want to have a good tie up with the india this is what the present position is very good thank you so much and um, best wishes aapne bahut kuch padhna hai especially in terms of banking i think guidely material is given to you then rrb materials are given go through the website of rrbs all the three rrbs try to know as many points as possible and especially you are struggling only in respect of the um say current affair area also so usme to there is no at least current affair snippets pura padhna hai and or affairs cloud kisi um some updates regularly padke man mein rakhna hai theek hai theek hai best wishes god bless you we will meet Thank again you. we will meet again after the dates are announced and 